Let me show you guys how I designed this flyer in CorelDRAW. If you're new to this channel, you are welcome. All right. So um, basically, this is the stock images we'll be making use of, right? I'll put everything for you guys in the down description below. For those of you who don't know what description is, now under this video, there's a write-up under the video, right? So go and check it out. You will see the link where I titled download image here please click on the link it will redirect you to where you will download this video uh, this this stuff all right now this is the stock images we're making is all right uh to design this flyer and you can see this is the picture we'll be making use of and i've actually taken the background of this picture from this to this all right so i've removed the background and um let's go straight to the video now welcome to Corel Draw, guys in case you don't understand anything that i'm going to teach in this video it simply means you are not subscribed all right now to change our size we'll be making use of pixels is it pixels or oh we're making use of pixels so to get pixels or pixel um go to your property bar on your on your on your bus all right select pixels units select pixels all right then come to your drawing your page dimension sorry change this to 1080 by 1350 then press enter on your keyboard now this is what you're going to have all right now the next thing you're going to do is double click on this rectangle tool and um, this is what you're going to have so now you will remove this black stroke we call it a black stroke or an outline right now to remove that come over to this thumbnail over here come over to this thumbnail over here i'm talking to you now right click on it you will see there's no thumbnail again or black stroke now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to import the stock images to do that come over to file select import in case you don't understand anything i will be doing here you are not subscribed to my channel now you can see these are all the informations now select the most important ones you want to right i'm selecting these two i'm just going to click and click this way and that is it do you understand now the next thing you're going to do is these are the text you're going to make use of right we're making use of four fonts for this design four I'll put the names for you guys. Calm down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background, this sorry, this image, scale it up. I'm going to use my shape tool to reduce the the this thing. You understand? Just this thing I'm reducing. So I'm using my shape tool to reduce it. If you don't know what shape tool is, go and watch my beginner's class. It's the first video you will see on my channel in case you're a beginner. Don't say I didn't tell you anyways now come over to this drag this place and um, bring this here bring this here for those of you who think i'm wasting your time you know consign me now you're going to scale this up this way we're going to make use of the white background now i'm going to right click on this and select power clip then place it into this frame right as simple as that next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring this guy here and um, let's scale it up small and that is it now i'm going to add a shadow to this image come back to your shadow tool draw this way you can see it i've applied or in case you cannot see it very well go and use eye gauge now you can see this is the property bar for the shadow i told you every tool in this software have their own property do you understand if you come over to the property you will see shadow feathering shadow feather now reduce it to five all right then use control plus k to break the shadow and the text apart do you understand now drag this shadow this way all right Bring the shadow this way and leave it there. 
leave it there for now then click on finish now what we are going to do is we're going to copy this text this is a new release listening party is a song right listening party now i'm going to break this apart and i'm going to use this font road rag that is the name road rag i'll put the names for you guys that is the font we're we'll making use of all right so i'm going to drag this guy here scale it up this way go into the frame drag this one to this part bring it down a bit then that is what i'm going to make use of i'm going to give it a red color but not this red right come over to the color thumbnail then what you're going to do is come to your color viewer select color model then select rgb right then drag this one down here kind of a maroon color do you understand now click on ok now we're going to cut this ctrl x to cut like and cut your hand now use ctrl v to paste then select this image bring it forward using shift page up now some of you will ask me why did i do this sometimes you will see some designs right you will see that the text the image is actually on top of the text like this like this do you understand like don't understand now if i drag this guy down here you can see the text is behind but we are not dragging it that much so we're going to just drag it a bit down this way and that is what we're going to have that is just all now for this one i'm going to bring this one down here the font i'll be making use of this is called walking that's the way we are walking if you like don't pay attention be playing because you know play when you're small i'm going to use ctrl plus k and break it apart i'm going to scale this guy here put it here scale this one this way make sure it is aligned use your eye gauge use your eye gauge use your eye gauge now drag this one here bring this one here now come over to this and give it 100 percent black now what i'm going to do now is i want to create a mirror effect on this text now i will make a separate video for this one in case you don't understand it in this video okay i'm talking to myself now i'm gonna just drag this one here do you understand? do you know how i did it no i know you don't know you see this text here this text you see these anchor points those eight anchor 12 anchor points the one on top the one on top like this bring your cursor there hold your control or command and drag it down then release your mouse immediately do you understand okay now drag it up here okay the shortcuts let me give you in a layman terms copy this text ctrl c then paste it ctrl v to paste do you understand now you can use your mirror to and bring it down this way it's just the same thing i did ah sometimes i will explain 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 tire i don't know if it's it not because of me they do that 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 voice that 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 audio if they explain explain tire now select your transparency to right fade out this edge this way fade it out this way it out. you can see you're creating you're creating what you know you're creating put in the comment section below let me know what we are creating now some of you will say i'm funny i'm funny i'm not funny because i'm, I'm a very annoying person because i i don't like the fact that i'll be teaching people will be playing you'll be playing whoa um this is how to create a mirror effect as you can see all right now we're going to select this rod ridge and give it to this to this guy here not the guy on the image i mean this text now put your cursor here and break it apart breaking apart simply means when a guy and a man is in a relationship and they don't want again the you break apart 
that is the breaking apart i mean so if i use ctrl k to break this thing apart you can see this one has gone their own this one has gone their own just to go everybody has gone to go and find their own boyfriend and girlfriend again do you understand that's, the, that's actually the meaning of this thing i'm doing do you understand that's the meaning of breaking apart yes now once you break it apart bring this thing here reduce it give it the same color here you get the point once you do it bring this here then put this one here and that is it guys now the next thing i'm going to do is we have the venue let's make sure this is aligned all right so we have the venue this is the venue so we're going to replace that with the logo i'm going to place this one here then we're going to copy the venue paste it here all right reduce the fonts give it a black color so we can see now the font i'll be making use of this one is called okay i'll make use of league cogit is it called cut oh so now the font i'll be making use of this one is called this beautiful heart all right and that is it so i'm going to place this guy here do you understand i'm going to place this here give it this color now the next thing you're going to do is break this apart put this one here all right then give it capital letter shift f3 on your keyboard shift f3 on your keyboard do you understand what i mean by shift f3 there's a key written shift and there's f3 so hold shift press f3 it will bring that dialog box that's to change um to change the uppercase to change to uppercase then i'm going to break this one this way i'm going to give it uppercase all right i'm going to use my shape to drag this guy down here then i'm going to reduce this and place it here scale it up this way do you understand scale it up this way make sure this and this is aligned then we're going to just reduce this and um basically all right um the time is 8 8 p.m then when i'm 8 p.m i'm going to use 8 p.m here give it uppercase shift f3 on your keyboard then i'm going to bring drag this guy here drag this guy here do you understand you don't understand that means you're not subscribed i'm going to put 13th so 13th i'm going to use a uh, 13th thursday then i'm going to reduce this one in case you don't understand what i did here that means you're not subscribed I'm just duplicating the font and typing it's just as simple as that then i'm going to use thursday match then i will increase this one bring this one here then reduce this one and um, bring this guy here and that is it so what i'm going to do is make sure this and this one is aligned do you understand this and this is aligned then bring your rectangle to put a demarcation here give it a white a black color sorry then for this one drag it here make sure this and this is aligned together bring this one here then you can basically reduce this guy reduce it and um, place it just right there for this one bring it just here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this copy this ctrl c to copy then go into the frame and paste it ctrl c to paste then what i'm going to do is i'm going to scale this one up this way once i scale it up my laptop is going off soon my battery is down i'm going to rotate this this way how do i rotate somebody will still ask me that question and i told you people are the verse i'm going to give it um this color no don't give it that color just use your transparency to fade it out this way do you understand but before we fade it out right to rotate it click this twice with your mouse one and two it will bring the anchor point the rotational anchor point do you understand then select this one and rotate it this way i know the gurus in this place will be 
they will be nodding their head and say oh yes 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 that is it that is it. but for newbies please go and watch my beginners class so you don't get confused now i'm going to use my transparency to fade out this this edge fade it out this edge fade it out this way then bring it down then what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this one also bring it here all right then rotate it this way you get the point now rotate it like tell me you don't know how i rotate it you are not do people here then i'm going to basically uh reduce this this way and uh, take it behind few do you understand what i did here do you now if you understand tell me you understand in the comment section below and i have a gift for you just do it do it i have a gift for you now this will be on the background now click on finish and um when you click on finish when you click on finish what did i say drag this one this way do you understand this is how i designed this flyer in correct draw in case you have any question please drop me in the comment section below and i wish you all the best with your clients see you guys in my next video if you don't understand drop me a comment in the comment section below anything you don't understand drop me a comment in the comment section okay we are done though you can go and watch the other video ah jesus i'm tired i say i'm done now i'm done so go and watch the other video do you understand do you like it do you like it you like the flare why won't you like it it's fine now see you guys in my next video peace and love don't play <laughs>